Hello, everybody. This is a Lamley unboxing matchbox moving parts, eight pieces, J case. But let's call this 2024 Mix One. Sometimes, based on the letters, you know what's going on. Hot Wheels resets every year. They go to the A case with their basics. Matchbox does, and they don't, but they do, and they don't. I don't know. Tangents. Who cares? All I know is that this is Mix One, sent to me by Mattel. I have seen that it's just appearing in at Walmarts at least. I don't know if it's at other stores uh, here in the US, maybe in other parts of the world as well. And this is significant not only because we're gonna see some new models, of course, but also because we can finally say goodbye to this terrible moving parts packaging. I have no idea if the Matchbox team agrees with me, but this has not been anyone's favorite packaging. It's awkward, it's terrible to store, it might be easy to send, and maybe I think the, uh, the reasoning was it looks different, and then if you're looking up at the cards, you can see what the, what the car is from the bottom, but I think we've all kind of despised this packaging. I know I have, and I have not heard very many uh, opposite opinions on this. So Matchbox has a new package, it is different. It is uh, more carbon, friendly, environmentally friendly. They've been hinting at doing this um, for a while. They did some, uh, they did that Tesla packaging. They've done some five pack packaging that's been a little different. And uh, this is the first time they're actually gonna introduce this to a mass market in their new moving parts line. So we're gonna have a look at this. And there you can already see very dramatically that uh, we have new packaging. So I'm just gonna pull these out. There's only eight models. I think some of them are um, not repeats, but multiples. And so it's gonna be fairly quick and fairly easy. And there it is. I think we've seen this. I think there's been pictures of this, but this is definitely new packaging. Moving parts, the logo is the same. There is the art. It's not on the bottom anymore. And this is boxed. I don't see stickers. I don't see obviously a blister. This material, I can't remember what it's called, but I think it does say here, let's see, a minimum of 51% ISCC certified plastic mass balance approach. Is that the same here? Um, plastic free packaging. So that's the point here. Now, I'm not gonna get into any opinions. I think ultimately, I think advance, advancing in this area is something that these companies always wanna do, and it's a good thing to do. Uh, whether it's for an environmental reason, that's what all this is, or for, you know, just more convenient packaging. This is an improvement in the aesthetic of the packaging, to be sure, and it is definitely unique um, in how they've done it. But it's, uh, you know, you've got part art here and then the model, which is accessible. And what we'll do after I show you these cars is we're going to try and see what it'd be like if we tried to steal one off the, you know, steal one out of the packaging um, at the store. That's been some people as they've seen this as a concern, but when you think about it, do the blisters really keep you from stealing the car? You'd have to pretty much shred this thing, I think, to get into it like anyone else who steals cars. You sometimes, sometimes we'll see that too. Anyway, this is the 2020 Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat. I think we've seen it in blue before. I don't know if we've seen it, maybe in gray. Um, this model is in yellow. I'll put these on the turntable. We're going to get to the packaging when we're done. So um, I will shoot the turntable shots and you're probably looking at it right now. The other thing is, it's kind of nice. These stand up nicely, right? Which is kind of a nice detail here as well. So that's there. That is the Dodge. Let me show you the back of it. Uh, more talk more about the packaging than the car itself. It's compostable. Com compostable? Compo compost. Compostable. Compostable. Oh, no, that was a word. All right, I know compo compost is. We have a compost pile ourselves here. All right, next one. Ah, uh, this is one that I know is going to be popular. This is the third, <clears throat> excuse me, the third issue of the 1996 Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution in black. Blue last year, silver the year before that. This one in jet black with the five spokes is a beauty. Engine, we'll find out. I'm assuming it's detailed the way the art shows up. Uh, but we'll find out, and uh, we'll be looking at the turntable shots together. Um, this casting has been very popular. You don't see it on the pegs very often. It tends to be one of the first to go. This was in a recent mix, what, just a couple mixes ago where it hit with, uh, actually with the uh, Bollinger, right? With the Bollinger B2. Um, and uh, it went, I think, faster than anything else did. So that is the Lancer. Let's see how many of those are in here. It may just be one. Next one. 
Another fairly new casting, not new to 2024, but one I think we've only seen once released. No, twice. We've seen it released in black and was it blue last year? It is the 2021 Ford Bronco. This is the two-door Bronco. Now, Matchbox has done the full, they've done the four-door Bronco, they've done the two-door Bronco, and now they've released in basic the Bronco Sport. So they've done the whole line, right? I know that there's other modifications with the Bronco, but it's kind of nice. I think the Bronco is a very cool car. I think it's a very uh, valid and worthy model to be done in multiple versions. Uh, because it's still just, it, every time I see a Bronco on the road, I'm always happy to see it. I just think it's such a cool, cool car. Uh, we'll put that here. I'm looking forward to trying to steal this. And we have another off-roader. Toyota Land Cruiser FJ40, rad color. It is funny when you're not seeing this in a blister. You just don't know the details here. So I, typically, like I said, we're going to open these. We'll, we'll, we'll open some of these when we're done. Uh, but uh, there is the uh, there's the artwork on that one with you showing the opening doors. I like the diagram here. It's pretty simple. Um, the art is very nice. And uh, yeah, I think I think this has de I mean it has details on the front. I think you can see that, but we don't know if it has it on the back. We'll find out when we put it on the turntable. So we'll be finding out together as we watch this video. How interesting is that? All right, that is the Land Cruiser. All right, I think these are. I don't know. Let's see. All right, another off roader GMC Hummer EV. EV is the, th not EV is the theme of the packaging, but you know, environmentally friendly. Matchbox has done a lot of EVs. The Hummer is one of them. Hot Wheels has done theirs as well. Um, this one's in blue. This is the third color of this one with the opening hood, but uh, there ain't no engine in it. So we'll check out the details on this one. It does seem like based on the art, at least that there is details on the back. There should be, especially since there's no engine to, uh, to detail inside. So that's the Hummer. We'll put that over there. You get two of those. I probably would have said do the Lancer instead. Yeah. Get I look so here I can see these are two different models. So you get two Hummers, one Charger, one Lancer, one Land Cruiser, one Bronco, and one new is this new cat no, this is not a new casting, but one Porsche. This is gonna be the most popular well no, the, I think the Lancer will be the most popular but so will the 2020 Porsche 911 Carrera 4S. This has been a popular model since it was released. Opening doors on this one. There is the art. Gray, no, introduced in red, right? With uh, chrome five spokes, then gray with the gold 10 spokes, which I loved last year. Really, really nice. I found that one in Maui, actually. Um, and I remember that. I visited the Target and was happy to find that. It was the only one I found. Um, and then now we have it in this really nice deep blue. Gold rims remain on the 10 spokes. I really like those 10 spoke wheels. And this looks really cool. I don't, I think the collector packaging has changed a little bit this year too, but uh, moving parts really has this significant compostable uh, blister. I don't know which one we're gonna try and steal. I don't know. 2019 Ford Mustang convertible. I think this is also not new. This was released last year as well. Wasn't there even a chase version of this one? So this one in metal flake green opening doors as well. No engine to detail. So I'm assuming this one has taillights and headlights. And you guys know while I'm watching as well, when we do the turntable shots, um, looks really good. Gray interior on that one. I've seen a few Mustangs. Um, yeah, this is a nice mix. You know, a lot of times these first mixes will be, um, let's do this Hummers in the back and then the Bronco and then Land Cruiser. And then we can put the Porsche. Oh wait. Yeah. Well, yeah, whatever. Um, there we go. Did we get them all? Yeah, kind of. Um, let's try and steal a Hummer cause we have an extra Hummer, right? So I don't know. This looks good. I think the packaging looks good. I was, what was I saying? Sometimes first mixes of a new year don't have a lot of new castings in them. It's, uh, you know, what they can work on. And as they develop the new castings, they can at least have something set in case there's a delay in a new casting and everything else. So I think that's one of the reasons you don't see a lot of new castings and new mixes. But uh, Matchbox has teased the next, the, I think the second and third mix, and they're full of new stuff. I saw the BMW, CSL in there. Um, Porsche, the, the, what is it, the original 911. It's going to be awesome. And I think some of those are coming to me so I can preview them for you. All right, let's just see. Let's just play with this pack. We'll do this one, and then you obviously I'll open these all up for the turntable. We're first going to try and steal this, right? So, I mean, 
ultimately some people say, oh yeah, they're going to be, there's just going to be blisters. But I, you know, how many times do you actually see ripped cards and open blisters on, uh, in, in the store anyway? I mean, it's, if someone wants to steal a car, it's not like this is going to invite people to steal because I don't know how other than just ripping the package, which is just like ripping the blister, you're going to get this out, right? I mean, it's just as easy to rip a blister off of a card than it is to rip this cardboard and pull the car out. But we'll see, right? We'll see as these, as these start circulating in stores, if there's ever an issue, these are glued. You can't open them and then close them again. I mean, without obviously re-gluing them. So I'm assuming the way you want to open this is to do that, right? It'd be like opening one of those boxes. And you pull that out. I do like the fact, there's the box. I mean, it is, I, you know, I'm trying to figure out, you know, one versus the other. This is kind of a cool, I mean, look at this. You know what? There it is. That's how the car gets locked in there, right? Does it say anything about how to remove them? It doesn't, but I'm assuming that that's what happens. So the wheels get locked in via this little... Uh, compostable uh, holder. So I'm assuming do you like press them through there? I guess you can. I don't know if you have to. But that's how you pull the model out. And then I guess you can probably pop it back in. It feels soft enough. You do get worried it's rubbing up against it. I hope it doesn't damage the car, but I guess we can just kind of test that. So cold out here that I, I mean, I guess you could break it too, right? It does seem to crack, you know? Yeah. I guess you could do that, right? But now I don't have a holder for this anymore, but that's okay. So there it is. That is the Hummer. That is the new packaging. You guys can tell me what you think. I actually think it's nice. I mean, if this is, I have no idea if it's cheaper to do it this way. Um, I do know it's better for the environment. The plastic is going to last a whole lot longer on this planet than the paper and I guess this other material will, right? That's what I mean. You guys tell me what you think. I think the mix is cool. We've seen the cars uh, out of the packaging by this point, but uh, I'm focusing more on the packaging now and we'll do more of the showcases. We'll move forward with uh, more showcase, less packaging in the next video. But give me your opinion on this. Good, bad, you like it, you don't. Um, we're open. We're open for all kinds of comments. I'm, I myself... I sure like it better than this, a lot better than this, and uh, easier to store and whatnot, so I'm good with that. Thanks, everybody. Bye.